you know, we had it and we got it and what in the heck are you doing, man? I thought I was the only one in this game that knocked over traffic signs. Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to finish up our October contracts and if all goes well get our corn harvested by the end of this episode. Uh, so we did make it around the outskirts of field 71. It did take me a couple of passes to get everything but we had no problem uh, pulling in the hay which means we no longer need the windrower here so we're going to have a worker uh, send that right on up to the north hay fields while we continue uh, baling here on field 71 so I'm um, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this hay we, we kept it last time so we got a little bit of hay in the barn um, we don't have anything that we can use it you know, we don't have any critters that need it right now, but we will in the future, A. And B, um, the selling price for hay right now is probably not all that great. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so hay, we are in October. So it's coming back up, but January is going to be the best time to sell it. So... If we hung on to it and then loaded it up um, in January and sold it then, we're going to get the best price for it. So I'm just trying to decide, though, uh, if that's what I actually want to do. But anyway, let's check on you. All right, you're doing doing good. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to have to fix the headland, but we'll do that at, at the end. So let's let him keep doing that. And then I want to jump in you and get the windrower up to the north fields because we no longer need it here and I'm I'm, I'm probably just going to do all the north fields off camera guys because I mean you how many times have you seen me do it now you know I, I know you see the problem with this game well I don't know if it's a problem but the nature I guess is the better a better way to say it of this game is it's kind of the same thing over and over again and I know that for me I love it and I like to watch other people YouTubers play this game and do the same thing over and over again. I know a lot of you guys do too, but you know, it, 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 it's a little bit of a challenge for me as a content creator, because I don't want to bore you guys with the same, oh, same, oh, all of the time. So, you know, and I'm new to the game. Well, I'm still relatively new to the game and new to making videos on the game. So I'm just trying to feel my way through here and, you know, find the right balance, uh, keep things fresh for you guys. Um, so anyway, all that to say, uh, I'll probably just do the north fields off camera. Um, but I will show you some more baling on this field because I know a lot of you like to see it. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably just do the north fields off camera. And then, um, so what we'll do is we'll we'll do a time lapse of, of the rest of the baling or most of the rest of the baling on here. I might show you a little bit of bale pickup too. Uh, but then I'll do the north fields off camera, and once those are done and we're ready to do the turn-ins, I'll bring you guys back at that time, and we will see, you know, uh, what the what the money is at the end, and then we'll do the harvesting contracts and our own corn field on camera, of course. Okay, so that's kind of the tentative plan for that. So let's just have you stage the windrower right there, and yeah, okay, so we should be good to go. Let's get back in the fail. All right, yeah, so let's do a little bit of a time lapse here with the baling, put some more tunes on, and yeah, enjoy the massive New Holland Big Baler 1290 High Density Baler. Look at that hay. Isn't that gorgeous? If you don't get super close to it, it looks very realistic, too. Love it. Okay, enjoy the music, guys. Let's do this.
right, guys, that ends uh, most of the contracts, ends the hay and the cultivating anyways. Uh, so we should now be able to uh, turn in field 71 and make ourselves a nice little chunk of change. Um, there we go. Collect. All right, this little sewing one came up. Um, we'd make $600 minus 78. Eighty-two. How big is eighty-two? I think eighty-two is pretty small. Yeah, it's that little dinky one we just finished cultivating. Uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we still have one fertilizing contract that I need to do, and we have um this those two harvesting ones that we're gonna do next. So um, but I have all this hay. Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Uh, you're thinking you don't stack wet hay in the barn. I know that, but I don't believe the game actually, I don't think that matters in the game. A and B, I had to pick the hay up off the field before I turned in the contractor. I would have lost it because if I would have left that out in the field, you know, to dry out, which is what you would normally do, and, but then turned in the contract, I would have lost it. So let's just pretend like I called up the the farmer and said hey can I keep this extra hay in your field and let it dry out before I pick it up and he would have said yes and we'll leave it at that <laughs> uh, okay anyway uh, let's get this stuff stacked in the barn we are going to hang on to it until January to sell um, but I will probably keep uh, I will probably keep some of it though too oops uh, let's see. So I want to try and get one bale up on that that end there, and two bales on that other side. Actually, yeah. Let's do the two bales first. Whoops. Yeah. No. Don't. No. Don't do that. Now push it forward. Okay. All right. Let's uh, shove this one back a little bit. We might have to put another bale in front of it to make that work. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's grab these three. Oh. oh. Why did I do that? All right. going to do is see if we can shove those in like that. Okay. Now, let's pull those out. And this one we'll put up on the other side there. Seriously? Okay. Um, what we're going to do is back this out and then we're going to push it on there. Which you could actually reasonably do, even without super strength, I think. Okay, now. Once again. No! <laughs> I was trying to move my mouse, and I hit the wrong button. For Pete's sake. All right. Well, we need a stack of three, too. Dad, burn it. Just created more work for myself. OK. 
Okay. Well, that went okay. And flatten it out. Flatten it out like this. <laughs> And then, look at that. Okay, now, easy. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. Don't be bumping the buttons this time. Go back, go back. Yeah, not that far, not that far. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out of patience. we had a little bit taller shed, we could just use the harrow bed to put them straight on in here, but we don't. Somehow or another, I made a smaller bale. So, yeah, there's that. Not that much smaller, but it's a little bit smaller. Whew, okay, that's done. So guys, we started these, I mean, we're not done yet. We still have a couple harvests and, and a fertilizer, but look at our money. We started with $40,000. We have $140,000 now, that's amazing. I'll take it, absolutely take it. I'm gonna go bang out the, the uh, fertilizer real quick. That's one field. It'll take me all of two minutes to do. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll we'll get those two whoops uh, harvest contracts out of the way and then do our corn. That's the plan. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are back. It's still raining, but it's supposed to get sunny here pretty soon. Uh, so we don't really want to start harvesting until the rain goes away. Uh, but look at the green uh, on my tractor from doing all the hay. That's, uh, that's again, the dirt mod. <laughs> it's so cool looking. So let's see. How about we, we got, let's put the baler and the cultivator back in the shed, get this tractor cleaned up and repaired. And if the rain hasn't stopped by then, then we'll, we might, like, go take a nap for an hour or two. Uh, or we could even wait, I guess, till tomorrow. Uh, but there's always the possibility it could be raining tomorrow morning, too. So let's get this put away. Okay, let's wash all the grass stains off our tractor. <laughs> I love that, man. I love it. It's the little things, right? It's the little things. And let's get it give it a repair. Five thousand four hundred and thirty-nine bucks, yowzers! But we worked this guy hard, though. And uh, it's got a half a fuel tank, so I think we're good. I already repaired the McCormick and washed it up, so it's in tip-top condition as well. Okay, so let's see here. Um. 
Um, if we look at the weather report, it is supposed to be sunny starting at one o'clock for the rest of the day. What time is it? It's 1.30. What? What's going on here? It kind of looks like the sun's trying to come out. I don't know that those clouds aren't moving off to the to the northwest. Hmm. Well, all right. I guess let's sleep for an hour. Well, we won't sleep. We're just gonna go in the house, have a sandwich, relax for a little bit, and wait for the rain to stop so we can get started with our harvest. Oh, wait, I guess I can't do that, can I? Um, Because it actually wants me to sleep. So let's do this. Let's just, what's the key for that? Eight? Yeah, let's just speed up the time here real quick. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. We're good, we're good. All right, guys, so next thing on the agenda is we want to, we're going to have to lease this inexpensive corn header and it'll notice that it does work for sunflowers too so we were going to have to do this regardless of you know the fact that we have that um uh that mission or not mission uh, contract to do right so it's not a very big header but the sunflower field's not huge it's sizable but it's not huge and our field of course is very small so i think that will be appropriate for us to do all right, so let's do this. Let's um, start up the, the thing here. And we want to... Uh, oh, no, we gotta get the combine, but we're gonna take our trailer out to the field as well. This will be our first time using our awesome harvest trailer that we bought, I don't know, what, a couple months ago, maybe? Something like that? Can't remember now. We bought it and stuck it in the barn. We haven't done anything with it yet. Very nice trailer. So yeah, we don't we're not gonna get a ton of corn out of this little patch, that's for sure, but I don't know. Um, I have to look at the the corn price. I, th I think it's another month or two before we we get good corn prices, if I recall. Let's look at that. Corn, 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 corn. So we're in October. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the worst time. No, we need to sit on it for a couple of months and sell it in December. So we'll we'll just store it. I can't store it in this trailer because we need this. Well, okay, hold on. Let me think about this. We could do the sunflowers first and sell the excess. We're not going to have a ton anyways. Then we could do the barley and sell that and then do the corn last and just store the corn in this trailer. That makes the most sense. The only thing that could throw a small wrench in that is if we get another harvest contract, um, you know, like next month. We won't get anything in December. But if that happens, you know, we can always just throw it in the train silo. So, yeah, okay, that makes the most sense. All right, so that being the case, let's get the small harvest or, or the small field out of the way first. So what we're going to do is uh, select the New Holland and go to field. Okay, 75 is the sunflowers. Where's the, hold on, hold on a second. Where's the, don't we have like a barley or something? Soybeans. Okay, that's in field 26. Okay, that's going to be a really small field. Uh, all right, so let's select you. Great job. Go to 26, which is going to be just this little dinky field right here. Okay. So you just stage there, and I'll be out there with the combine in no time. Now, here's the thing. We are going to buy ourselves... A header trailer because I am not gonna fight trying to <laughs> try to get that stupid header 
over bridges and through woods and to grandmother's house and all that kind of business. It was too much of a pain in the neck neck last time. So we're going to just flat out buy ourselves a header trailer and they're not that expensive and we can afford it. So we have the 3050 Terraflex 28 footer and the trailer that goes with that is either one of these. This is the cheaper of the two. Um, so it's only six grand too bad. We couldn't have found that on sale, but we didn't. So let's just buy it. And then we have it. There it is. Okay. Um, and we could, we'll put the header on it from this side. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that looks about right. I think we have to. Lower it. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Oh. Detach PTO first. Okay, wait a second. It's not letting me do it. Okay, so let's here, let's raise it back up. What we might have to do. Right, Houston. <laughs> okay, let's lower this. Let's detach that. All right, now we should be able to raise it up and then just, we can barely get it over there pop onto it and it, it kind of writes itself it's very interesting how it does that but yeah and I'm I don't know do we have to strap this no I guess it just locks locks in place it's probably some kind of yeah like little clamp vice system that that you know locks it in place there okay so it should be good all right beautiful Yeah, all right. We will... Let me think about something here for a second. If we go back to the map. 26 is just up there. The sunflowers are way down there. Yeah, okay, we'll just come back to the farm to switch out the headers when we're ready to do so. This is how you pull a header around. You know what? We're going to fudge a little bit. Go across this pasture here. And we'll illegally cross the freeway too, because why not? <laughs> I haven't seen any cops around here anyway. Okay, let's put that there. It's a little odd that it uh, does that. Okay, we want to hook this up. And I guess no lines have to be hooked up. Pull is not allowed while the tool is filled. Oh! I got a load of canola in here. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. When does, what's the best time for selling canola? Oh, man, I forgot about that. Um, the best time to sell canola is next month. Crap. Um, what should we do with that? I, uh, let's just go throw it in the train station. They're going to charge us 50 bucks for 10,000. 
every 10,000 liters. I don't, we don't even have 10,000 liters. Yeah, let's just do that. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. No, oh, how about if we lift this back up? Uh, yeah, that's a problem too. <laughs> This combine uh, is kind of ha having a little bit of a short problem, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just go dump this at the train station until next month. Look how dark that canola is. Yeah, I completely forgot that we had left this in the in the combine. You know, we're going to be able to harvest this entire field and keep it in the combine. I'm, I'm sure we will. We might not even need our trailer for this. All right. Let's get lined up here. Isn't that wheel supposed to be down lower? Or is it always like that? It's got hydraulics on it. Seems to be like one time... I was doing something with that and I can't remember how I did it. No, not that. Not that. Go away. I don't know. Um, all right, well. Seems to me like that should be up for taller crops and down for other crops. Is there... I'm trying to see if there's anything on here. No, I don't know. It's working, so okay. Oh yeah, we're we'll easily get all of these soybeans in here. We don't even need the trailer here. All right, well I'll tell you what then. Let's um let's just have a worker finish this. It's like going to be done in two minutes anyway. And we will take this to the train station and store it there. And then we'll come back and get the combine, take it back home, and get set up for the corn and the sunflowers. Sunflowers first. Okay. I think we have a plan. So, note to self. We want to sell the canola in November. Most of the stuff that we wait to sell is sells in January, but canola is an exception. I mean, we're not going to make a bazillion dollars off of this, but, you know, we'll make some money off of it, especially considering the fact that we didn't have to, to pay to plant it because it was already on the field when we bought it. I think I told you guys this, but um, whether or not there's a crop on a field doesn't... You know what? I'm actually going to hit a dead end up here, so let's just cut across over here. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter if there's a crop on the field or not. It doesn't affect the price. So ideally, you always want to buy a field with a crop already on it. So you basically get a free free crop. Well, free in terms of not having to do all of the stuff to plant it and all that, you know. So we will come back here next month and grab this canola out of here and take it to the market. There's nothing we can do with it. Um, if you if you have a um, the oil plant, then you can use canola to make the oil. All right. I guess those little roller thingamadoodles are supposed to. If you have like a crop in here that's all clumped up or something, 
it helps it to get out the back, I'm guessing. Actually, you know what? We are going to need the trailer back at the combine so we can take the grain to the sell point. I don't want to take it in the combine. That thing's too dang slow. Unless it's on the way to the sunflower field, in which case, then it would make sense to do that. Um, let's stop in the middle of the road here because that's what you do. You stop in the middle of the road when you find, want to find out where you're going to sell your uh, soybeans at. So if we go here. Soybean harvest. Johnson's. Nope, Johnson's is the other way, so we will definitely take it up there in our trailer. Uh, the pipe's on this side. Okay, it's it's working. <laughs> I mean, look how many soybeans that is. That's nothing. It was probably not even worth it for us to do this, but it was fun, though. Alright, magically pop on. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Alright, let's see if the AI can handle taking the combine back to the farm while we go drop that stuff off at Johnson's. Since it's using a proper header trailer and it's properly folded up, they should be able to do it. We'll find out. Okay. So... Combine, great job, go to, and just go back to the farm and just park right in the field there and then I'll take it from there. Mm, looks like they're doing it. Uh, other way, dude. Where are you going? Okay, I think he's <laughs> I think he's got it now. <laughs> oh man. Never a dull moment. I'll tell you what. Alright, let's go dump this stuff off at of Johnson's. That is <laughs> that's like nothing, man. That is nothing. We made 88 bucks harvest income. All right, let's turn in a contract and make another 410. There we go. Okay. Like I said, it was fun. <laughs> we got to use our trailer for the first time. Okay, I'll meet you guys down at the sunflower field and we'll get started on that next. Lots to do still. And here we are. We have done sunflowers once before on a contract a long time ago. So it's nothing too difficult. All right, let's do this. Sunflowers are like canola <clears throat> in, in that you would take them to the oil factory if you, you were growing them for production. And who knows, maybe we'll do that someday. Not necessarily planning to, but I'm also not not planning to. Not not planning to? <laughs> I think. Something like that. Six percent. Oh crap. Here. Let's back up and grab those right now.
I'm thinking, um, well, here, let's see how much we have at the very end of this row. Seven percent. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to get maybe a, maybe a load and a half ish. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I love it. Stay straight there, OG. All right, guys. Well, this is going to take a little while. So I think I'm going to turn it over to the AI. And let them have a go at it since they're going to be able to do straighter lines than I'm doing anyway. And while that's going on, let's talk about what's going to happen next. Well, the corn, our corn's going to happen next, but I mean more in terms of our um, what we want to do next with our money and stuff. So. I've considered... Oh, you stupid car. Really? <laughs> These cars just drive me nuts, man. I mean, I love the idea of them. The implementation of them is, it just sucks. It's just so stupid that they can't go around when there's still like four feet of, you know, of clearance or whatever. Anyway, um... So, there's a couple things we could do with money. I'm starting to kind of think that I'd like to pay the loan off, uh, or at least start paying it off. We haven't done anything with that since we started the game, and it takes, it takes, well, yeah, it takes 666, is that, is that a sign? <laughs> Dollars from us every freaking month, you know, in interest, because we have three-day months, and it's $222 a day. Um, so there's that possibility. I'm also... Um, I'm also toying with the idea of purchasing another field, and if I did that, it would be 50. Um, and that's 114,000, so we can afford it. It's not going to leave us a whole lot of money left after that, but that's a very nice field. The one thing I don't like about this field, though, is that it has cotton on it. And we learned that in order to harvest a cotton, it's extremely expensive to lease you know, oh, that guy's not any better than me. <laughs> uh, it's extremely expensive to lease, um, you know, the harvester and stuff for the cotton. <coughs> Excuse me. But, I, you know, that would be the next most logical field for us to buy because it's adjacent to our property and it's a nice big field. And what I would probably just end up doing is attaching it um, to our existing fields. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't attach it. I'd still leave the, you know, the little causeway between the two, but yeah, I don't know. So that's something to do. The other thing we can do is sit on our money and see what comes up in the sales. Cause you know, uh, there's definitely things that we still need. Um, so I'm just trying to kind of decide what I want to do uh, with that money. So yeah. So I'll give that some thought and I will let you guys know, obviously. What I'm going to do, I'm probably going to sit on it at least until tomorrow so we can see what's on sale tomorrow before we do anything at all. So we're not going to do anything at all with the money today. And then, you know, we have things coming up, uh, you know, things to sell. Prices are going to start getting better on our produce and our eggs. We've got canola that we can sell. We've got something else. We'll have a little bit of corn, but that corn's not going to be anything really to speak of. Um, but our silage is what's going to be our big payday. We're going to make we're going to make some nice money on that silage. Um, 
well over six figures. I'm, I'm expecting, you know, when we sell that in January. Plus, you know, we, we've been storing up that hay, like I said, too. And if we decide to sell that in January, we'll make some money on that, too. So we'll see how, how things go. I would really kind of like to get rid of that debt, though, because, I mean, you know, $666 over the course of, you know, we're almost three years into this. That, that adds up, you know, it really does. And uh, I'd like to get rid of that if possible. Okay, well, anyway, um, let's just let this dude do his thing, and then I might not bring you back until he's completely done, um, because there's no way this field's going to fill up our trailer. I, that's just not going to happen. Uh, it's barely going to fill up the combine. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you back when he's done, and then we'll go uh, do the turn-in for the sunflowers, and then... Our, our corn is next thing on the list. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I think that's it for our sunflowers. You are empty, right? No, you're not empty. It's going to say. You should have a little bit more than that. I think the worker just stopped and decided it was time to go home before emptying out the rest of the sunflower seeds. Okay, that's it. Okay, so let's send uh, the combine back home or more specifically back to our little cornfield because that's what we're going to do next and we're going to go turn these sunflowers in all right so uh, let's see here go here grab the combine great job go to and we want you to just stage right here is good Hopefully they can make it back without any issues. Good. Now, we need to take this load. That whole entire field is only 25% 20, of our trailer. It's 13,000 liters, though. Um, so, yeah, that's quite a few liters. All right. So where are we supposed to take this? Let's take a look-see here. Uh, we are supposed to take this to feed grain in south. All right. Let's do it. Just right down the road. Okay, let's see what we get. $876, make you holler. And to turn in the contract, we get another $1,900. That brings us back up to $129.77. Okay, was that worth it? <sighs> I don't know, but you know, it was fun. I like the harvesting contracts. Was it worth it though? I barely, <laughs> if even, right? <laughs> if even, but you know what? We needed to get the header for our corn anyway. So, you know, we had it and we got it. And what in the heck are you doing, man? I thought I was the only one in this game that knocked over traffic signs. All right, this guy's got uh, brain worms going on, so why don't we trade him places? <laughs> I think he's got some problems. I really do. All right, so we will send um, we'll send you 
back to the field. That should be a little bit easier for the AI to handle, I'm thinking. Well, let's hope so, anyway. And then I'll go deal with this guy. All right, I'll meet you guys at the cornfield. All right, I decided that we would uh, repair the combine first because it is about 50%, maybe even just a little bit more down. And my understanding is that if your combine's not in good repair, it doesn't yield as much harvest. And we don't want that. So. Let's go ahead and repair this for 2160. And this thing is pretty much in almost perfect condition, so we don't need to repair that. Okay. All right, let's go over here and get this corn knocked out. This should not take long at all. Very small patch of corn, and then, uh, as I've mentioned many times now, we will. Then convert this into more hay, and then we'll have one, just one big ginormous hay field here. The corn itself, we're gonna store in the train depot until the better months to sell it, which I think is actually maybe next month. It's either November or December. So, okay. Um, unfold harvester. Lower that, and let's harvest corn. This is our first time harvesting corn. And it's our corn too on top of that, which is even better. Similar to uh, sunflowers, but a little bit taller plants. Ah, uh, we missed one, That gone it. We missed two. I apologize, guys, if I repeat myself a lot. Part of the reason for that is because I don't I don't record necessarily an entire episode in one sitting. Um, like it's the next day for me in real life. From uh, the first part of starting the sunflower harvest was yesterday, and then the last part was is a, a day later. So I don't always remember exactly what I told you guys. So. That's why, you know, sometimes I sound like I re... Well, I don't sound like I do repeat myself, but... Anyway, uh, hopefully that's not too bothersome for you guys. Plus, I'm old and I forget stuff sometimes, so it's like, did I tell these guys this or not? I don't know, let's just tell them again, so... <laughs> um, and then, you know, there's always the... The likelihood that somebody new's watching for the first time and they didn't hear me say that before, so there's that too. But any hoozle... Let's just see uh, how much we get from our first time around the field here. This corn was, for those of you who don't know, uh, was already here when I purchased this little field. I didn't plant it myself, so it's a pretty small plot. You know, one thing we can do with this, though, now that I think about it, is we can rent a mulcher, and we can mulch this, and then that'll give a... I think it's like a 2.5% additional yield or something like that. Oh, I, okay, so we, we got around 20% for the first pass, but of course... Oh, crap. We should not be driving over that. Ugh, I forgot about that. All right, take 1% off of our yield. <laughs> Dang it! Anyway, um, what was I saying now? I don't remember what I was saying. I threw off my train of thought, a thought by driving over my crop. Dang it! Oh no, we were talking about mulching. Yeah, so we could rent a mulcher if it's not too expensive, and that's supposed to give us like a, a two and a half percent yield or something on the next crop. Whether that applies to grass or not, I'm not sure, because that's what we're going to be putting in. So, yeah, not sure about that. 
Now, um, I, I mentioned this a long, long time ago to you guys. If you've been watching the series all along, I used to work on a dairy uh, for a time. And um, that the dairy that I worked on, they grew their own corn, you know, for their cows. And I actually helped them harvest a corn one season. And I, did, I didn't drive the combine, but I did drive the truck, you know, to, to fill the combine up. And uh, that was fun. So I have sort of kind of harvested corn in real life. Well, that brings back memories, man. There's, there's two things I'll tell you about living on a dairy farm. A, you get the best milk in the world, like just fresh out of the parlor. You'll, you'll never get anything as tasty as that in the grocery store. And B, you get the best meat in the world. <laughs> I remember the, the, the folks that owned the dairy, um, their son was my best friend at the time. And it was because of him, you know, that I was living on the, and working on the dairy. And uh, they had this ginormous freezer just loaded with beef. And I'm talking some really good meat, too. As you can imagine, right? And um, so, yeah. Fond memories. My, uh, my buddy, who was one of the sons of the dairy farmer, he had like three sons, three or four sons. Um, he, got, uh, he got a little bit too inebriated one night. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like so wasted that he couldn't get up in the morning to milk the cows because you know we had to get up like really early in the morning to go milk the cows, and so I ended up basically milking all the cows for him that morning. And you know I was not a pro dairy farmer; I was kind of a greenhorn, you know, apprentice, if you will, learning learning the ropes at the time, but I had fortunately done it enough at that point that I knew, you know, knew what to do to get the job done. Because, you know, if you guys don't know this, when you have a dairy farm and you have cows that are producing milk, you, you got to milk them. I mean, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about them. You got They got to be milked every single day. And if you don't milk them, you know, then their udders will burst and then you have major problems, right? So it's got to be done no matter what. But he was... <laughs> He was in no shape to be milking cows that morning. He just was not, you know. He was he was cra wild and crazy guy. I mean, I kind of was too at that time in my life, but not as much as he was, right? And so, yep, I milked the cows for him that morning. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a neat experience, though, living on that dairy farm and, you know, just experiencing that side of agriculture and everything. We are at 54%. I don't even know. Well, we'll, we'll probably get a f one full combine load out of this, I'm thinking. Probably. We'll see. It's going to be close. Well, I don't know. Maybe we won't. <laughs> we probably won't, actually. At the rate we're going, I'm going to say we're probably going to get about 80%. 80 to, 80 to 85, let's say. We'll see how it goes. All right, 80%. That's what we ended up with. Right on. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, load up our trailer. And we're just going to throw this corn. Uh, well, actually, no. I'm just going to keep the corn in the trailer. Because I'm pretty sure we sell it next month. We'll, we'll double check. Okay. 
But uh, we might as well just keep it in this trailer because... Uh, look at that corn. That is neat, man. Yellow corn. Very cool. Uh, yeah, well, there's no point in putting the silo if we're going to sell it next month. I don't think I'm going to need my trailer before then. If we do, then, yeah, we can still take it back down to the train station. Uh, let's take a look here really quick. So if we go to uh, the prices, and we I know I've looked at this, but I can't remember. Uh, this, oh, no, okay, December's the best month. Like, look at look at how much it jumps up in December. So we're going we're gonna to hang on to it till December. And uh, we'll sell it then. All right, you guys. Well, here is the end of this episode. This has been a longer episode than normal. Uh, but I just want you guys to know that what has been in this episode has represented hours of real-time gameplay that I have uh, worked hard to edit it down so it's not like crazy long. But I know it's pretty long. But I wanted to do all of this in, in you know, a single episode for you guys and... and you know, finish out with the bang by getting the corn done. So what's going to happen next is we're going to we're going to plow this part of the field under, you know, do the normal field prep. It won't take long at all um, and and just get some some grass planted on it. So this all becomes just one, uh, you know, pretty good sized hay field. So I was talking to you guys um, about buying this field. It's it's a nice sized field and it really makes sense that it would be the next best field for us to buy, you know, just because it's contiguous with our property. Uh, but I just don't know if there's enough cotton on here for us to turn a profit, considering how expensive it is to lease the harvester, you know? So I, uh, I'll have to do some research on that and see, see. But, you know, the thing is, is we could still buy the field anyway. And I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but again, I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. I'm old. Forgive me. And it's the next day. <laughs> but... I mean, we could still buy the field and, and, if nothing else, just plow the cotton under or maybe even try and mulch it, you know, and get a little extra fertilizer bonus on it, you know, that sort of thing. Because, again, the the price of the field, it doesn't matter if there's a crop on it or not. It's still the same. So we wouldn't lose anything. We just wouldn't get the benefit of, you know, doing a cotton crop. But, again, I'm just not sure if it's large enough to warrant, you know, I mean, the 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 cheapest harvester is still like twenty three thousand dollars just to lease. Excuse me. Plus, we have to get the bale pickup too. So, is the question is, is there enough cotton on this field for us to recoup, you know, a little more than the cost of the baler and the and the pickup thing, right? So, so we're talking for this case, right? We're talking. 24, we'll say $25,000 for that, right? And then we also need, um, we also need a cotton bale pickup trailer. So let's look at cotton technology. So we would need, wait, this? I guess this. If I'm right, and that's another thirteen hundred dollars, right? So I, I lost track of what my thought process. What is this? Well, that's a planter. That's just a weight. So what does this say? A bale loader eases the collection of bales. So I'm assuming that. I guess we back up to the bale and there's like some kind of conveyor system that will pull the bale up onto the trailer. That's my assumption on that. And it can handle these size bales, right? Okay, so again, we're talking 1300 bucks for that. Um, and 2500 So basically, 26, we'll just say 2650 or $26,500. So... The question is, is there enough cotton on this field for us to recoup more than that to make it worthwhile? And I don't know the answer to that question. I've never done cotton before. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. 
Uh, anyway, all right, yep, yeah, I gotta let you go. So I will see you guys in the next episode, and we'll figure out what's going on. Bye-bye.